Well, here we have the um, Hill console for the organ. Uh, it's a typical uh, 1911, uh, early 1900s console uh, by William Hill, uh, made of very fine uh, walnut um, and in really a superb condition, uh, relative really, for the, um, for the uh, age of the organ. Uh, and you can see here that there are three keyboards, uh, one, two, three. Uh, the keyboards are called manuals. Uh, and if you look closely, like here, the middle of each keyboard, which is where presumably most people have played over the years, uh, the middle is increasingly worn compared with the, uh, with the outer notes of the keyboards. Um, the, top, the top keyboard, the top manual, is called the swell, the swell organ. The middle is the grate and the bottom manual uh, is the choir. And then down there we have pedals which are um, pretty well the same as, as, as the keys uh, on the manuals, but obviously slightly larger uh, because that's where the feet have to go. Um, now, um, to uh, make any sound come out of the, out of the keyboards, uh, we have to pull a stop out. So here we have the swell stops, uh, and if I just pull one stop out uh, and play a note, um, it will show that basically that stop is working the top manual um, and over here we have the stops for the middle manual the great uh, manual so again if I just pull one stop out there we are um, and the bottom manual the stops are here um, the choir organ and then there are stops over here for the pedal organ a couple of things to note here um, first is this is unusual uh, insofar as the missing stops the organ has a lot of uh, important missing stops but they are uh, stubs they're, they're, they are the position of them is clearly uh, here because the stubs are there to indicate where the missing stops should go um, second thing is that over the years there have been quite a few uh, blemishes uh, on the um, uh, on the condition of the console the first is this uh, rather ancient driving mirror. Uh, I don't know if it's 1911. It's certainly most inappropriate uh, for the organ uh, and so needs to be replaced. Over here is the electric switch for the blower and that again is entirely inappropriate but that was installed a few years ago just to give a, a, a degree of security uh, in terms of the uh, actual organ. And then much more difficult to spot but as um, stops have been added over the years the lettering on the stop heads is entirely inconsistent. Um, so these are original hill stops here, but the lettering down there of a later stop head is different. Uh, and over here, fine detail, these ones are original hill uh, stop heads. That one isn't, and the T of the two is a different shape to the T the, to the T of the two over here and here. And also the rings on the stop heads. These are original Hill rings. These two are 1958 Hill Norman and Beard stop rings and they're entirely different. So the plan basically is not only to complete um, the organ uh, in due course, but also to restore the console um, to how it should look uh, in, or did actually look, uh, in 1911. One other feature which is unusual is that the, uh, these two um, pedals down here, which, which operate when we go upstairs in the organ, we'll see that the top manual stop, uh, pipes and the bottom manual pipes are in boxes with shutters that are on the front, uh, which open and shut according to the position of these pedals. Uh, and it makes the sound go either louder or softer depending on which way the shutters are going. Normally on an organ with, with pedals like these, the swell pedals, they are in the middle. But in, in 1958, when the original latch lever, which would have been down here, um, all the older organs used to have just a, just a lever that went up and down and, and was kicked with a, with a foot, that was replaced in 1958 with these two pedals. Um, but normally the pedals would be in the middle uh, and it's just that obviously Hill Norman Beard for whatever reason in 1958 did not want to tinker with a mechanism that links the pedals 
with the shutters uh, upstairs on the two boxes.